big reason why. I have Mark, who's uh, my partner in all this. And I'm going to introduce our, our why to you, and then we're going to show you some things that we actually are going to present that's real here today to, some, uh, to a local school and teacher. And then we're going to tell you how we did that through the money self-defense system of care of So the real why we and Mark are doing this is because we care about kids. Mr. Sherrick owns Courtney for Kids here inside Elevation Fitness. Mr. Sherrick is one of my students from way back in the day. Okay, so we just aged ourselves, but he's older. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, so, so Mr. Sherrick's up here in Elevation Fitness, and uh, we started a program in the school district uh, in Las Vegas called Kids Matter. And I have a nonprofit called My Kids Matter. And what we want to do is teach character ed inside the elementary schools, knowing they have character ed programs. And going to work with schools for the past 20 years, most schools and teachers and principals say, man, I wish you could be here to run our character ed program because we're inundated with too much to do. The counselor has two jobs now. The teachers don't have time with all the curriculum issues they have. So character ed's slipping by. Like it used to be a forefront in elementary schools, and it's there, but it's slipping by. And I watched this happen. I said, I'll teach it. I said, well, you have to be a part of the school. You have to be this. You have to be that. So I went through and did all that. Partnered up, became a nonprofit. Learned everything I could do to walk in and do it. And in seven years, we've affiliated that, this program you're going to hear about in, in a, seven other states. But it really has got all its legs in Las Vegas. And I had a deal last year with the Clark County School District and the superintendent to launch what I'm going to describe to you in 50 schools at once with the support of the district. We were, here we go, we're going to start flying. And August 12th, the superintendent vacated his position in the middle of the night. Personal needs were cited and he's gone. August 17th was the launch of what I'm talking about. And uh, we didn't say you can't launch it, we just had nobody buying in anymore. Because the, that was a public spectacle when the superintendent vacated his position and everybody was running for the where to hide. And I said, we're still doing the event, we're still launching it. But, uh, but the, you know, some things happened where we didn't launch at the scale we wanted to launch. And each of the 50 schools were told, sorry, we'll, talk, we'll talk, wait at least one year for the launch, which that year will be up in August of this year. And so I said, what are we going to do? I still got to do this. We have the material. We have, the kids have the need. We've got to still go, keep going. It took me four months from August to December to figure out how I was going to fund my charity because for the last seven years, I funded it. And, you know, my spouse and I have a difference of opinion on that funding of the charity. <laughs> but she knows it's a necessary need, but we also got to eat. So, you know, and I've had good success in business. And, wow, I said that and the lights went off. <laughs> I haven't had success. <laughs> well, and, and so, but, but my real success is helping people. I've, I've really been fed by being able to help people become what it is they're trying to be. He knows what I'm talking about. Anybody who works with kids, you know what I'm talking about. You know, I get a very blessed position to help people. So we're going to take it further. So today, if you'll come up here, um, we have, and I have to, pardon me, what's the name again? Glenn Anderson. Glenn Anderson and his son, Ashton Anderson. Okay, so he's the teacher at Red Mountain, Red Mountain Elementary School, and he's an alumni of that elementary school, here to represent. Okay, so a couple questions first. Did you ever see, witness, or be a part of bullying while you were in elementary school? Once. Once. Did you know of other people who had, was having it happen to them? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it was something you were familiar with, right? Now, you're going on to junior high this next year, or you're in it now? Go ahead, I'm an intermediate school. Is that sixth? Yeah, so. junior. Junior, or middle school, I guess, what they call it. Yeah. Middle school. Okay. Is, there, is it still going on? Do you think it'll go on in high school? How do we stop it? We, like, be a good example and not influence others. Like, don't make fun of anyone. 